um, this is continuation of my previous video. In my previous video, I spoke about osteoarthritis, gave a general introduction about it, um, um, gave a brief elaboration about uh, the types of osteoarthritis and the pathology behind it. In this video, I'm going to speak about the clinical features. How does a patient present with osteoarthritis? So, to begin with, uh, let us assume a situation, um, let us assume a patient in an imaginary aspect. The patient is 60 years old and the patient is presenting with complaints of pain. Okay, pain in, the in his knee joint. So, how do you manage the case? How are we going to suspect and how, what are the uh, suspicions that arises in our mind? We are going to see in this video. So, the most common cause of pain, stiffness, crepitus, and all the features of uh, joint pathology in an elderly patient is osteoarthritis. The first thing that has to come to our mind is osteoarthritis. So, to, uh, how does a patient present? Initially, the presentation starts with pain. The pain will be intermittent in nature, especially after a stress to the joint, like in squatting position or after climbing steps like that. And also, the, pa the pain will be exaggerated after a period of rest. The reason why the pain is exaggerated after the period of rest is uh, during this, the muscles goes, the muscles which are attached to the joint, they go for relaxation. So automatically, the two ends of the joints come in contact with each other. So though that contact gives rise to pain. But when you have your activities, automatically the muscle goes for protective spasm, so that the space once again gets uh, a, a bit bigger. So automatically, the two sides are not in contact. That settles the pain. So when the patient wakes up, definitely he will have a severe pain and stiffness, but he walks, when he does his activities, the pain gradually settles down as the days goes by. This is a, a unique feature of osteoarthritis. And when the disease progresses, the intermittent pain goes for a constant one. The, pain, the patient will have a constant pain and the pain, the severity of pain increases. Okay, done. Number two, the patient will have a sense of instability in the joint. He will complain of knee joint giving way or sometimes locking can be there. Done. Number three, the patient will give a history of crepitus or if you examine definitely crepitus will be there in case of osteoarthritis and crepitus is the most most important clinical feature and clinical sign of osteoarthritis. Crepitus is a mild grinding sensation which is felt over the knee joint and, at, and felt maximum at the joint line when you passively or actively move the joint. You know. The reason behind the crepitus is, I told in my previous video that articular cartilage is responsible for smooth gliding of joints when that articular cartilage is eroded and it is not present. The two ends of the bone come in direct contact which are rough and give rise to a coarse grinding sensation. We call it as crepitus. Sometimes the crepitus is to that extent that we even hear in our normal ears. But normally it is felt during passive movements. And uh, how we can do the crepitus is we just we have to keep our hand over the petalar region then flex and extend the knee passively to check for crepitus and the crepitus is here i mean felt at most in at, i mean at a greater instant at a greater intensity at the joint line so this is one of the clinical feature of osteoarthritis and then <clears throat> we are going for uh, and if this osteoarthritis persists deformities can happen like uh, in case of knee the most common deformity that can happen because of osteoarthritis is genu valgum because uh, the most common site in the knee joint to get affected is medial condyle of tibia and medial epicondyle of femur so that so the first region to get eroded is in that region so automatically the articular cartilage at that region is eroded so assume so assume a situation i mean we just imagine this this is the uh, femur this is tibia so this is medial part and this is lateral part this is medial part so what, what happens is the medial part this is medial part, you know, we have articular cartilage. So, so this gets eroded, giving rise to a medial displacement. So the normally the leg will be like this, but when this region gets eroded, automatically it goes, it goes for medial displacement. And we call that medial displacement as genu valgum. So genu valgum is the most common deformity that occurs in an osteoarthritic patient. So initially the patient presents with pain. Sometimes stiffness can be there. I forgot to tell this point. Stiffness is because of uh, uh, stiffness is because of uh, loose bodies uh, that may arise within that may get uh, uh, that may be, may be present in the sign of you, right? Okay, done. So, patient may present with pain, stiffness, crepitus, knees instability, that is knee giving way, sometimes locking of the knee that the patient cannot extend his knee fully, can be there, at last the patient goes for deformity. Okay, done. Then how, what is the x-ray finding? How does an x-ray look like? The most common finding in x-ray is decreased joint space. We know that uh, articular cartilage is a radially loosened structure, so we don't see articular cartilage in x-ray. So that's why the joint space will be uh, 
uh, we will have a joint space. We will have an we will see as if the joint is having an empty space. But since the articular cartilage is eroded, the two bones come in direct contact. That's why the joint space gets eroded, and the joint space is decreased. Not articular cartilage gets eroded, and that's why that's why we have decreased joint space. Number one. Number two. Since there is a pressure and uh, there is pressure, we automatically whenever there is a pressure at the site of uh, uh, a pathology, the tendency of the bone is to produce increased calcium there to produce a sclerosis over there. That's why we will have subchondral sclerosis at the margin at the ends of the bone. So that is one of the findings. Like when you look at the bone, you know the the, the region of the uh, joint, the, the that region. I mean, will have. Uh, I mean. The, the part of the bone which is in which is articulating will be sclerosis. So subchondral sclerosis can be there, and sometimes because of pressure, the margins can have ex I mean over calcification, giving rise to tiny speckles of bone called osteophytes. So this is this is the picture where osteophyte is clearly seen. So osteophytes can be there, and sometimes that osteophytes can cause this uh, locking, and sometimes the osteophytes can uh, get uh, into the synovial fluid, uh, forming loose bodies, and so on. So osteophyte is one of the findings. Sometimes the synovial fluid gets seeped into the subchondral bone, giving rise to subchondral cyst. So decreased joint space, osteophytes, subchondral sclerosis, and subchondral cyst are very important X-ray findings in an osteoarthritic patient. And now coming to treatment mode. And the one point which which you have to the differentiate from osteoarthritis is rheumatoid arthritis and gouty arthritis. In rheumatoid arthritis, you will go for a set of clinical features. I will, if time permits, I will give uh, my uh, session. I will have my next session on rheumatoid arthritis. But to be more specific, osteoarthritis, you have to rule out uh, clinic min or rheumatoid and gouty arthritis. Okay, done. So what is the treatment modality? So the treatment depends on severity. Initially, we start with physiotherapy and if to an unsymptomatic treatment that we relieve pain by using non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. So physiotherapy and NSAID is the first modality of treatment. But when the patient goes for a very severe state, then surgical intervention comes. Surgically, we can go for high tibial osteotomy to give some relief, or we can remove the loose bodies uh, through arthroscopic procedures, or sometimes joint debridement where we uh, remove the cartilage. I mean, we remove the damaged articular cartilage can be done. And if the joint is so severe that nothing is possible, then we go for total. Thank you.